Hi, I'm Laszlo and this afternoon I'm going to show you how to clean properly a gold, clean, a gold electrode uh, for a DNA deposition. What you need to know is that there are three steps uh, involved in this process. Uh, step number one is the electrochemical cleaning, step number two uh, the mechanical polishing and step number three is the electrochemical polishing. So, as I mentioned before, in order to obtain this good clean electrode, first you need to do this uh, electrochemical uh, cleaning. For this you need 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide, which I already prepared. You need this glass cell and actually to put some of this sodium hydroxide in it. Next, you take this gold electrode, you fill it with a holder, open the Faraday cage, I already put the reference electrode and the counter electrode. As you can see, they are already connected. You place the cell inside and you close it. Next, you connect the working electrode and then place it inside. Just like this. Make sure you close the door. Next, you will run cyclic voltammograms uh, 10 cycles starting from 0.4 volts all the way to minus 1.6 volts and the scan rate is 50 millivolts per second and that's step number one so in step number two first we take the electrode from the cleaning we wash it with di water clean it with a kim wipe Next, we will uh, actually do the mechanical polishing. So for this, you need a one micrometer alu uh, diamond paste and a 0 0.1 uh, micrometer aluminum slurry. And you need a polishing pad. So once you put each and one of them in onto this pad, you take the gold electrode and then you start polishing for two minutes. And what you need to do is you have to draw eights all the time. Once you finish with the diamond, you wash it and then you do it with the alumina. And again, do it for two more minutes. After the me mechanical polishing, you sonicate the electrode in uh, ethanol and water in one to one re uh, ratio, at least for 10 minutes. So we arrived at step number three. Uh, this is the electrochemical polishing. Uh, this is actually contains of two steps. Step number one, you place the electrode into one molar sulfuric acid and you run cyclic photonograms. Next, you put it in one molar sulfuric acid with 10 millimolar potassium chloride. And for the final step, you actually place the electrodes into 0.1 molar sulfuric acid. And this is only uh, just for you to calculate the electrochemical surface area of the electrode. So, when you are running the CVs in one molar sulfuric acid, this is what you should get. And in this case, you are actually running uh, 10 cycles from uh, minus 0 0.3 volts all the way to 1.7 volts. And the scan rate is uh, 300 millivolts per second. So when you're running the CVs in uh, one molar sulfuric acid with 10 millimolar uh, potassium chloride, this is how it should look like. In this case, you're running the CV from zero to uh, 1.7 volts, and the scan rate is uh, 300 millivolts per second. And you do this uh, 10 times. So in the final step, when you run the CV in 0.1 molar sulfuric acid, this is what you should obtain. And this uh, CV uh, was obtained between 0 and 1 point volts, and the scan rate is 300 millivolts per second. From this CV, you can actually obtain the electrochemical surface area of your clean gold electrode. You know if it's clean when these two shoulders are uh, symmetrical. If it's lagging, then you should start all over again because the electrode is not clean. So now you know how to clean uh, a gold electrode and uh, now you
theoretically have a nice clean electrode. Good luck guys with your measurements.